This is a uh, Adele Optilex Sem45 small form factor model. Um, I bought it cheap on eBay because um, I wanted to have a go at Hackintosh in and I've done it successfully. Um, the only thing that is not working is the network card but the sound is fine. I use the Hazard um, Leopard disc and then I updated it to Snow Leopard. I'll show you in a moment. Um, I've read a lot on the internet about people getting confused how to um, do the sa uh, how to do the BIOS settings. I'll show you that in a moment. I'll switch this on. If I just press F2 to get in the BIOS. I don't think I've done it fast enough, have I? Oh, yes. Um, right. Now what you have to do is go down to... Drives. Press Enter. Go down to SATA Operation. Now press enter on that and you want it to set it to legacy. Um, I think there's a bit of a problem with these BIOSes. So you have, they have to be upgraded I think. Because they keep resetting themselves. But when you want to install make sure that's set to legacy otherwise you'll have an error saying when you go to boot into your Mac OS to hold on the button to restart the computer like an error message <coughs> you won't get it with that um, and the boot sequence obviously you've got to set that to CD-ROM first hard drive second I'm okay, just going to exit this now and show you my um, Oh, by the way, I used um, the hazard disk, and then um, I used multi beast, you know, um, so that it'll boot from my hard drive. It takes a while because this is an old computer. I don't know why he's doing that. Um, I'm a beginner of this, so I'm not really fit familiar with like the DSD files and the Kex files and all that. Um, but I've read about this model, and apparently people can't get the net the integrated network to work so I bought one off eBay last night which was only like three pounds and I said it was compatible with Mac OS there's also like cloned airport cards on there if you wanted to go wireless that are quite cheap there's people that I and I think people can make their own network cards by putting an apple chip on them or something but I'm not too good at soldering and things so that's a bit too advanced for me uh, I'm when I customised it, when I was installing the Mac OS, um, all I clicked was this 10.6 update because I wasn't sure about all the other stuff that was on I saw the only box I ticked. I didn't have to, and the sound worked 
so I didn't have to mess around with that. I got plans to upgrade this computer. I might put it into um, a bigger case. Then I can put a more powerful power supply in it. And then put more RAM in it, a better graphic card because this is working off the integrated graphics at the moment. It restarts fine, shuts off fine. Um, because it's a small form factor case, if I wanted to put a graphic card in that, I'd have to get a low profile one. Which basically means it's half the size because it would be too wide. It you know it probably be like come out to there when a low profile one would just fit in there on the back. There you go, that's my first hack and tosh. Maybe in time when I got the money I'll build my own computer but I just can't afford it at the moment you know to get one of those i3 or i7 CPUs and gigabyte motherboards and all that <coughs> as you can see when I open up Saf Safari it says you can't connect to the internet and when you go to the network diagnostics they're all greyed out because it, it, can't, it can't detect a network card. But that will be solved very soon. I can't wait to start using this once it's on the internet. Just gonna get off that a minute. Well, shall I show you the sound while I'm here? Uh, da -da. Got to learn how to use this operating system. I don't know if you can hear that in the background there. I got speakers right by there. And the USB powered. Well, you know my sound's working. Anyway, thanks for watching. Over and out.